told you I was around Fleetwood born and bred, and a couple of years ago, around the Fleetwood area, a lot of friends and just local people seemed to be taking their own lives. A lot of them were hanging themselves. We even had a guy decide to drive 100 and odd miles to Fleetwood just to hang himself, and he had no uh, connections to Fleetwood. And there was just this real dark cloud hanging, you could feel it in the air. Nobody wanted to know anything, no people weren't getting on. So I got in touch with the local council, Lorraine Beavers, who came to me out, sat down with me for an hour, and she I said, you know, we need to do something, we need to get Fleetwood together. And she was she was right what she said. The women in Fleetwood will yap 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 all day long. You know what I mean? You you put you put five women together, you will not get a word in edgeways. <laughs> but you put five men in a room and you could have 10, 15 min minutes of silence, you know what I mean? Nobody's saying you no. Know, people don't like to talk. And we came upon this idea of a man shed, which for a good 17, 18 months didn't go any further than that. It was talked about at healthier Fleetwood meetings, it was talked about a different organisation, but not happening. I think men have some things that they keep to themselves and they find it difficult because unless it's meeting in the pub and having a good chinwag and some people can't do that because obviously of other reasons. So the concept is to get some funding, get a men's shed together, incorporate everybody's interests and skills and transfer their skills to other people. So like if somebody's interest, somebody can do woodwork and they'd like to do a woodwork group then we'd access the tools and facilities and then somebody could show somebody else. I talked to Gail about it, I got deep about it actually with her. And we just sat there, didn't we, one day after we talked about it several times and again got to the line and stopped. And do you remember the only way it's ever going to happen is you to start it. So I said, we had three weeks on Thursday, let's get an eating point. She went, well, weather spoons. I know it's not the ideal for this, but you pay £1.25 and you get a cup. You may fill it with coffee as many times as you want. So we put it down, we've got a load of interest on the internet. Um, one person turned up and I was like, well, the response we'd had on Facebook or on the internet was amazing. And I, and I was so geared up to have to be like 15, 20 people in front of me. And for one person to turn up, it deflated me. But Gail, being professional that she is, she's like, look, it doesn't happen overnight, it takes time. And from the 25th of October, which was our first ever meeting, we've now got a core of group and new members turning up weekly. What we want, or what we are, or what I want us to be, is a group with uh, an open arms policy. That, that to me was an important bit, that, that was my key buzzword one day. While at the moment I'm pulling everyone in and you have to have a point of contact, which is me. Once we are established, it's going to become a circle. No starting point and no end point. Everyone's on the same part. There ain't a leader, there ain't an organiser. We're all just going to be men getting together and buddying up and hopefully talking. If you meet a new friend here and you have a game of chess or dominoes with someone, and you feel good about it, and you might, it might be them you open up to. Because none of us here are professional healthcare workers or all like that. Um, yeah, we've got all the numbers for people to ring, and if they want to do, you know, we'll, we'll gladly. At some point, I'm going to get like business cards made with the Men's Shed logo on it when we decide what logo we're having. And on the back of it will be all the help numbers. So everyone that comes here, first of all, will have one of them in the wallet. So if they are feeling a bit, Mm. Mm. Do I think, oh, hang on, I've got such a help man on the back of it, whatever it may be that you've got on this. And if they can ring that, then, then great. Mm. And these business cards will go in businesses around Fleetwood for people to be able to go, what's that mention? And even if they don't come here and one of them one day goes, well, mm, that's a good idea, I'll give them a ring. Then again, that's another thing that's worked. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully, eventually, we'll have our own premises and when I'm pushing up daisies and looking down in Fleetwood in 20, 30 years, I want to see Fleetwood Memshed still going strong and helping people. Okay.
And if one person, just one person, can turn around one day and say, you know something, if I hadn't come here today, I was going to be on the end of a rope, or I was going to take all my medication, then it's worked. Yeah, yeah.